Well, here we are for game number one of this best of five. Top blokes versus SK Gaming. Top blokes looking to find a little bit of defensive form. Archie there already asked a question as Tox slaps one on target and he does sweep it wide. Nothing too dangerous for him yet and not too difficult, but at the moment, SK Gaming testing it. The demo from Yuki onto Archie. And just as I'm saying, they haven't really tested him too strongly. A little back past the Tox. They open up the back with the demo, take the 1 0 lead, and Top Blokes defending is again put to the test. Well, you already mentioned earlier how important sometimes maybe backflipping the sort of stability side of it. Well, demo inflicted, demo occurred, and tops right to the back. Well, flame left hanging, and Ixo just moving that one nicely into the corner. Nice bit of control so far. Teams have had a decent appear of time to warm up, get themselves ready for this retail, and a backboard. Just waiting to be pounced on, and Archie leaves that wisely. Cassio trying to find a route out of defense, blocked by Tox. Archie will take over, but he's got Yuki in the midfield. He does win that 15, and now can look for the infield pass. Perhaps the shot, trying to slip it in that near post. Ixo, well ready, reads it really well, and had good patience to go to that cha challenge just to see what his opponent was doing with it. So it's awkward for Archie now. He lets that ball bounce up above him. Fortunately for him, SK Game giving him a little bit of space so he can play it away from the danger. Flame with the flick over the tops, looking for the middle now. Challenged by Yuki, that will come all the way back into the top bloke's half. And a little bit of a midfield congestion from both sides here. Not able to get it into the center in front of net. Just trying to find a little bit of ground on the field. And those demos again coming out from Ixo on to Flame to try and open up a bit of space. Yuki with a pot shot from halfway. Saved away by top blokes. It will remain 1-0 at that 90-second mark. With Yukio trying to do something about it. Archie with the save and not a backflip. Well, that just shows you the window already. Just sitting on the window stage itself there. And you looked at how so far the game has been going. SK gave in credit to them. Uh, defending technically for the first time, really, this defense. Long launching clear as well here. Nice little shot and flame. He was caught napping and they should be punished, will be punished. You said one. Well, it's been doubled now. Again, it's just at the back from top blows. Even the touch there from Cassio into the corner. He's played it right into the bar for UK. It's made well too easy. As you said, sleeping on the line, not able to get it away off their own crossbar and punished too Goals for the good for SK Gaming as they double their lead two minutes into game one. And I would say that Top Lokes haven't had much to show for their efforts so far. This time, Cassio now with a long ball downfield, but a bit of hit and chase ends up with Ixo. He sees Yuko in the corner, Ixo again to the backboard. And it's just constant pressure coming from SK, testing them in all different ways, moving the ball around the field into space, looking for those passing plays, the link up plays but also capable of running it solo. So top blokes not really sure what's coming at them and not really able to create anything of them themselves. Oh, well, they've found any creation on the remaining two minutes here because frankly, we've seen top blokes struggle so far in this opening game here. It really might become must win. We are seen already in the European side of things, tiebreakers coming in, A being worse on the matter, but there's no tying this one. He's going straight to open net, 3-0. It's just again, they're not able to play out from the back. Archie gets caught, and now you've got Flame out of position. You know, he should be in that sort of back post position there, but he ends up with his back to the ball. He's unable to parry it away. At the moment, SK Gaming, they take this 3-0 lead and really untested. Perhaps now some danger that could come from the kickoff at Tox is well ready for it. He does well to play it over Flame, deal with the pressure coming from him. Cassio will find him. The double commit coming out, maybe now uncharacteristic from SK Gaming, they look a little bit panicky just in that situation. But now it is, again, quickly played down the other side. Top blokes being tested again and again. Ixo out wide here, trying to put it awkward for Archie. Now Yukio over to Tox to find space on the other side of the field. Could be a bit awkward, though. So he's forced to play this into the center of his own half. Could be dangerous as Flame was lurking. Trying to put that pressure on. Tox now with a bit of time and space. One-on-one -on -one with Cassio. Tries to go for the near post. Cassio holds his nerve and keeps the ball out of the net. And Top Bloke's trying to transition. But when I say trying, it really is with a lack of success. Unless they find Flame. No, denied again. Yukio's there to sweep it wide. Archie with the force. But again, no luck for Top Bloke so far in game one. 
And I've been trying so far here, and that's where last moment of play is almost vintage top blokes as yet the goal to be actually put behind the net. It's just almost to be struggling, and that might be representation of their sort of spring split entirely. Also good. And the big matches themselves, they are not finding the correct play in this ball, tracking all the way backwards, and any illusion of a comeback in game one should be shattered at this point here. And Aiden, SK Gaiman, after having a shaky OT sort of sets a run here, winning game one very convincingly. Yeah, well, SK Gaiman, of course, the seven overtimes today, you'd think maybe they'd be a little bit tired about her hats. It's also just they've been playing a lot more time on the field and they've been enjoying it. You know, they've gone into all these overtimes. They've won two series, one against Guild, which I'm sure they knew was going to be a tough one. They went against White Demons, who really changed their play style halfway through that series. And it caught SK Gaming a bit unaware, but they managed to push on through, get the Game 5 win. And, you know, White Demons, I think, is one of these teams perhaps similar to Team Kesso, which kind of just fly in at the ball and, you know, are quite unpredictable in the way they approach the game. And I think they can upset a lot of teams, but SK Gaming not going to be one of those teams that have been upset. And right now, SK Gaming still in the driver's seat as they take a 3-0 winning game one against top blokes. As you said, in the driving seat as well, and we've just seen on the overlay briefly the statistics side of it. Not much in terms of... SK Gaming dominating statistically wise bar the main scoreline that matters and that's the actual goals being put in here. And frankly, top blokes here just seem sluggish. They just do not have that freedom that we usually expect them. They have Casio as a sort of hard rock as well. Flame to be for credit to it as well now to do archy things. That's really the adjective that gets put beside his name in game two. Can they maybe wrap up to the next level here, or SK Gaming might just knock Game 2 down in one swoop? Oh, top bloke definitely need to change something. They have to find their footing. They've got to be playing with a little bit more intensity, because haven't really, you know, you can look at stats and they might tell you one thing. If you watch that Game 1 back, see they didn't have much time on the ball. They weren't able to play out from defense comfortably. They always looked awkward. Again, looking awkward. As Cassio can't find a way out. Almost punished immediately by Yukio. Archie, though, with a good save this time. And does keep it nil-nil. And I think it's so important for top blokes. They don't concede early because that will, you know, hurt them. And it will sting a little bit. And they will start to feel the nerves. Now, Cassio back to the ball. One-on-one -on -one with Tox. Tox not picking the right side. Went straight down the middle. Ended up being a fairly easy save. Remains nil-nil. First minute of play. Oh, just like that, nil-nil, and we were talking last game how much top blokes need to improve, and that's straight on target. Excellent start by SK Gaiman. They might need to continue further if Flame, if he has his way here, will find some way of worming this one back in the middle, and Archie forcing it into the air dribble. Just the boost not there, just almost evaporating from their tanks at this point. They cannot string more than one player to gala here. That's the bigger issue. 90 seconds gone by and sadly nil nil. Well UK off the ceiling here Ixo wanted a piece of it. Tox is there ready and waiting. He's not found his mark you can tell there. Trying to find that upper 90. Put it in the one spot you know is going to be the most difficult to stop it, but he's missed. It's gone just wide. Remains nil over top. Blokes biting the bullet a little bit here. A little bit lucky to have not been punished. They have been forced into making five saves already. Not even two minutes of the game gone by. And they've only got one shot. One from Flame that did test SK Gaming. Looks dangerous, but really, it's not good enough from top blokes. Well, Cassio trying to bang this one forward. Looking for that bat ball. Tox is there. Good backboard defense from him. He will play it wide into the path of Cassio. Doesn't get a grip of it. Flame, though, was able to back his teammate up quickly. Now this will drop into the danger zone. So keeps it out on that left side. Punishing Archie again. Archie not able to get the infield pass. Not able to play it off the backboard. Flame looking for the middle. But Yuko is going to be the first one there. And Cassio forced to back away. The positioning by Archie realizes again that boost being problematic and Flame just dives all the way back to his half there. The clearance wasn't a simple hoof downfield, and frankly, SK Gaming might regret that, but they still keep control. More importantly, Tox on the opposite side, and wires are being crossed at this point. Shame to see that one. Could have been a delicious play on the plate here, and Tox, oh, this is wonderful. Delay game management and just toy with the top. Look, oh. mentality! 
one little play develops into a domino effect. 1-0. And uh, this is just proof that Rocket League doesn't always need to be fancy. It doesn't always need to be complicated. You can really just delay and delay and wait for your teammates to catch up, to get in positions and make things awkward for top blokes. Archie there gets his third save with a backflip, but it's not going to be enough if they kept barreling through the rest of the game. Can they get a response? Iso with the save, Archie. That's his second shot of the game. But denied, and that 1-0 lead hanging over the head of top blokes at the moment. It does even be worse at this point here. The headache will be growing, but they cannot get this one away. Flame. Well, delay is up. not until Yukio steps in, and this is just so... That was dangerous, and the crossbar being the real true saviour on that one. 90 seconds left on it, and Yukio just misses that one. Almost a hair of a difference there in Flame, forcing it through the 50, and again the top looks. The tank completely drained here in SK Gaming, not caring a jot here in there, just moving the ball at ease at the moment. Archie oh, shooting that one with Venom, but again, SK Gaming, they're well organised at the back. Spreading out, giving each other a little bit of space, not turtling up too much. They keep the momentum going, they keep moving. Allows them to deal with difficult situations. Archie, though, with the drop down, they did catch one player out. Tox, though, was still ready on the ground. And again, that's SK Gaming well organized at the back. When one player gets beaten, you've got another man to back it up and recover the possession. Iso will get this one past Flame. Caught in the midfield by Cassio as he looks in field. Yuko there. Iso with the extension of the plate. Wasn't able to connect, but Tox from the back is able to keep pushing on. I think so to deny this one in the midfield and push it wide again, but he may not have seen Archie putting Tox under pressure, but he's done well to play out of that situation. Cassio again with these long bangs and top blokes as the time is going on. It seems to be hit and chase, hit and chase, hope for a mistake. All three players of top blokes racking up three saves and it really is just a testament of the domination that SK Gaming have in front of net. Plenty of shots on and that will be another one and into the back of the net to double the lead with eight seconds on the clock perhaps and nailing the coffin here for game two. This is just incredible the performance you say domination that's the perfect word it's just been comfortable from them and Maybe a bull comment to say at this early stage of SK game in the former Aether or roster itself here. But this looks like a championship side. Sadly, the season for them will be over once the major top looks will have to look forward onto this. But right now, they've got to play a factly foreseen positioning at the moment. Going fourth in the group will not help that cause. Going fifth and out in day one here could become the scenario if they get sweep here in round four of course results pending with the next round two yeah well top blow is going to be fully aware of the pocket they're playing themselves into if they do lose this it will be just one win from four series and really for a team that on the points ranking is so high up you'd be expecting so much more and perhaps they're very well aware of that too and and that's adding a bit to the pressure and to the difficulties that they're having here today uh, in this major yeah archie's been having some time off due to injuries but i wouldn't want to put any excuses for them because really you got to be doing better and it's very very lackluster so far against sk gaming sk gaming though have had two game fives today and while they are comfortably winning this series without conceding a single goal so far, I wouldn't somehow be surprised if we see another game five overtime. Well, from the neutrals perspective, game five is always thrilling. The teams, however, will be, of course, one-sided as obvious. Nobody wants to have the pressure going 2-0 and fighting their way back, but also the pressure after conceding two games on the following suit and Archie. Good defensive work to follow that one. Works his way around and Casio just taps it up towards him as well too. Back into the middle. And Yetz has cleared away here. SK Gaming, there we've talked about their offense, but their defense here, smooth, silky. It's just too good to be true at the moment. Top blokes, the first touch, it's always just a bit too heavy. He saw it from Archie then, you know. We were talking earlier about how he's a threat on offense, but. 
even he can't get it going. The touch just every time. Back to the opponent, back to the opponent. You can say, well, SK Damon playing very well. Perhaps the championship side and proving it maybe with that goal. Yukio with the assist. It's really just intelligent play because you could have just shot that straight away. Perhaps it was, but Tox was ready. It's the 1-0 and top blokes are going to be sweating a little bit. Yeah, it'll be a massive worry. Concedes one basically within a minute gone a gameplay, but a change how we're kept. And Tox has us a wide open shot there. Archie obviously in the net. Yes, obviously going to save that. It's just where the ball spills here. And Top Lopes has not been able to recycle the ball into a usable play from defense. And Casio right at the keeper. The second phase of play through Flame, however, dies already here. And SK Gaming might be on a reprieve. Well, it's, I didn't expect to be saying that that's the most threatening Top Lopes have looked all series so far and it's not even a goal well defended by sk they haven't been questioned too much and i mean really testament to them to have that focus in defense despite not having to be making a lot of saves still ready for it when it does come when the danger does come into the zone focus they're switched on now oh, Ito, what can he do from here blocked away tox out on the other side using the full width of the field here Archie trying to play it away. Yukio with the demo on flame. So no downfield outlet for Archie. But he does very, very well here to get this 50 through into this play on Tox. Cassio will follow up close into the backboard where Flame is able to pop a shot away. But saved by Tox. That one goal lead still very, very worrying for top blokes as they've yet to find a way through. Just simple as that. Haven't found it. And... Let's just let this point set in your mind for the remaining of this game and could be the end of the series. Top blokes have yet to score and they might be on the concession of another one here as this boss has been propped up flame. None of the top blokes members have found a follow through the field pass here and talks back into the middle and a loose ball. This is SK shaky. It's been a performance. Are they maybe having a white line fever? Well, this is the first time in the series that you can say top blokes are not being outshot by SK Gaming. Three shots apiece. They've actually tested SK Gaming. Tox picking up all three of the saves that were on target. And they were good saves. Top blokes did make it difficult. They will be frustrated to still be trailing in game three because, of course, they've already dropped two games. Now from the middle, Ixo missing this one, perhaps leaving it for Yukio. Possession not really made the most of there as he hands it right over. Tuck's trying to play through this back line of top blokes. Cassio will get the better of him. Play through the midfield. It's not a great touch by Ixo as that one drops down for Archie. He wants to pop this one over Yukio. Doesn't find a way through. Tox now on the attack. Yukio extending the play to the corner. Ixo and Yukio though, double committing onto that attack could cause a little bit of problem. Ixo trying to recover. We'll get the demo. There's a shot that really looked like that was going to be the equalizer but Yukio now rising to the occasion before it was Tox with all the saves Yukio now picking up four SK even as well four saves now for Tox defending that one from Cassio 44 seconds to go and Top Lokes looking the more dangerous side can they find an equalizer they have to at this point it will be GG and move on to the next round for both sides here in Flame to the back wall. He would like to prolong the game and Cassio, he's put it near enough wide. The double touch. Oh, he will be thanking the stars and the post to bounce back on this one here. SK Gaiman will have a bit of resentment with that touch. Oh, Cassio will have been watching that ball as he hit it and he'll be in, please don't hit the post because you can never trust that post. You never know what's going to happen, but there could be some danger on the cards. Right for the kickoff, Tox is in the middle, saved by Archie. And that could have been heartbreak for Top Lokes after the amount of pressure they've managed to put on SK Gaming here in game three. Working hard for the equaliser. Can they now take the lead with 10 seconds to go? Archie into each. So Cassio there waiting just outside the danger zone. Making things all for SK Gaming. This one's going to stay in the air. Archie onto it. The drop down flame is there. Can he find Cassio? But no. He will head into overtime. And it will perhaps spell upset for top blokes. Or perhaps top blokes can take it to game four. 
Well, it's almost at this point here. Is it game five or an OT? An SK gaming guarantee. That's how it seems to be on today of day one of the major. They already had their third longest in the split so far. Mentioned before this point here, Isco would like to have it shut down early as possible. And Casio up, nice air dribble. And no bit of the fence here has been open up majorly. So here for top blokes in flame. Went up, challenge, unsuccessful. Yukio, straight clearance. Not an Archie reads it perfectly. Has the double. He has it all right. And SK Gaiman sweep. No, top bloke survive. Oh, honestly, from a neutral perspective, you'll be happy to see this. If you're an SK Gaming fan, you're going to be biting your nails again because the series continues when really you would have thought they'd have closed it out with a clean sweep. Top blokes, though, good to see Archie stepping up and looking more like his former self, really performing in game three here coming through with three saves and a goal to add on top of that i would say today the most impressive player for me was was casio from top lakes but this game archie now again is showing what he's made of as we head into a game four that would be the case as well and it just seems a bit of a strange one before that point we were talking potentially of an sk game and sweep that's how dominant they were top looks haven't scored and we talked about Archie things, he has shown up in game three. It's the question of how much ability, how much determination and how much is left in the tank for top blokes as well. Because those defeats in terms of individual games will play on the mindset, especially on the younger player in the form of Archie here on one of the biggest stages, if not the biggest stages, Aiden. And well, the question is simply this, reverse sweep? Well... They could maybe do what White Demons have been trying to do all day long. I would say one game could make you start to hope, start to feel like it's on the cards. But really, the top blokes will need an identical performance to the last game. The first time I've seen them look the better side in this series and really one of the better performances for them of the day so far. Of course, they've been clean swept today twice already so they do deny it this time around we have plenty of more words surely left in this particular match of script unknown to us and thankfully so here as we get the enjoyment of it but spare a thought as well top blokes as coach as well rams probably giving a few instructions and snatsky as well one of the ogs probably in the scene that many people Especially from the free to play sex, it might not know when Archie has a decent clearance and Tox sets himself up perfectly. Double drop, not necessary. A peach of a pass, but Casio launches stone field here. Top blokes here, they've got themselves back into it, surely. Oh, it's much better play from top blokes. Play, actually able to play out from the back. Soak up the pressure, looked a bit more sort of composed on defense. Oh, trying to find Tox there. That could have been a rather dangerous attack and top blokes again dealing well with it archie with the demo on tox this could be a problem for sk but they do well Iso manages to get this wide out of the danger zone now you carry into it but if only flies it as far as flame who finds archie and it will be in off the crossbar just around that 90 second mark top blokes take the lead a soft delicate touch as well and two defenders oh we just threaded that one perfectly and Oh, we talked about Archie being that sort of golden striker capable. Well, he just shows it perfectly there. And 90 seconds gone by, it was SK Gaiman twice beforehand. He had a nice little run of goal scored and didn't need to do much bar scoring. Sounds so simple. Top looks failed in that department. 1-0 already for them. And defending in Yukio hasn't been caught off guard here. Would have been two if so. And Casio moves in for the second phase of play this time. Trying to carry this one through, blocked by Flame. Iso wants to pop this one on target, but there's no real power behind the shot. And Archie has already got three saves this game. That's really showing how he's improved over the day. Because in defense, he'd been looking awkward earlier on. Now doing bits for top blokes. Tox now with a bit of time and space. Top blokes sitting it off. Archie throwing himself at this one. A little awkward. Fortunately for him, Casio was out on the other side. Who got in the way. 
I'll take this up the wall, Cassio looking for something from the ceiling block by Toch, but it comes perfectly into the middle for Flame. No real venom behind the shot. Try to stroke it home, but Yukio is able to counter with a ground away dribble. Tox into this one. The pressure on from SK Gaming at the moment. Cassio, though, with a great clear downfield for Archie, who extends the play. Flame coming in to Yukio quickly. Will read the clear. Cassio's there in the middle, blocked by Ixo. He had to go quickly. You've got to respect that from Ixo. No fear into that challenge as he does deny top blokes going any further ahead. Oh, fabulous pass and play, and Cassio. Didn't push too far, didn't trust it. Maybe expected a shot to be much more potent than that. And Yukio, nice one too. And that's a good stop. It's by Art. It's there. Talks back into the middle here. Should be a Cassio clearance and not enough boost for the double. And Yukio not even respecting that one. Launches it downfield and saying, I can do it better than you can. Well, and I think Top Bloke's first goal in this series came in game three. Took them a while to find it, coming back from 1-0 down. And since that goal, though, they seem to have breathed new life into the team. Found that confidence. Even in defense, where I expect them to be a little weaker and their attack to shine. They're stepping it up and playing a bit more positive Rocket League here as Archie lets this one go for Cassio. He's not able to play through Ixo. Yukio with the shot blocked by Cassio. Patrick and saves for him as Ixo looks for the backboard again. Flame, though, well organized and well prepared for the clear. This one's going to go straight to Yuko. He's got great control from the ground, but Archie jumped very, very early to get possession back for his team. Cassio with the flip reset. Flames lurking. It will be 2 0. They double their lead. Top blokes back in control, and game five is right around the corner. Did say it was a guarantee when the SK Gamers are around 47 seconds to find two goals. It's a massive ask, and realistically, we're going to score it pretty much early from this kickoff here. If they want any faint bit of hope here, and talks already up in Yukio, last man here in that earlier play. As Yukio's fabulous control, let's give him credit, was it due? Archie just snatched it and moved it across here to show you one play can change the dynamics of this matchup and an infield pass already like that for the double. Not happening, but Yukio went for target, however. Blocked it where it goes, and the clock has truly dwindled from that moment. I think at this point here, everybody prepare for a Game 5 thriller. Well... That will mean that SK Gaming in RLCS 100% of their series will have gone all the way to game five. And eight of 14 of those games have gone to overtime. And they really are showing up to be the entertainers. Definitely going to get a lot of interest from the neutral scene and perhaps earn a few fans just for the entertainment value. But it is going to be top blokes who put the pressure back on and are riding this train of momentum which they found in game three they left it a little late allowed sk gaming up onto that match point but here they are now all level and it will just be one game between them that seems to be and we don't mention all the statistics and everything else at this point here might as well throw it out of the window because game five is a different beast to try to like, get sort of into the feeling of it just make sure you're composed and we had juicy the wills esports actually coach himself early on the stream juicy talked about moments off and sort of his off he didn't even know what was happening himself because it was that confusion the adrenaline kicks in and so does the emotion side of it but do you still back the top bloke reverse sweep at this point well you know Top blokes have looked a lot better since game three. Definitely there in game four. Very comfortable for them. And SK Gaming, of course, they tested them a couple times. But SK Gaming have a 100% win rate in, in game five. So <laughs> I guess we haven't had a lot of series to go off of. Statistically, I would suggest they'd be able to take it. Perhaps top blokes can break that streak. And given the way they played over the last two games, they do look the more threatening side. But it is early, early pressure coming from SK Gaming. Ito with a drop down. Archie was there and it really was a cause for concern for top blokes early on. And had SK Gaming taken a lead so early, the nerves would surely be rattled. Well, Flame just leaves that one. He's so straight up and around here. And well, speaking about that one there, the ball just rattles off the wall. And Cassio just trying to keep possession, playing smartly as well too. One of the 
Well, the players that you talk about, intelligence in the game, outstanding at times, and here he is already disrupting the offensive and defensive clears while well, it was trying to get rounded in flame. Back wall and Cassio waits patiently, was third man, waited until Archie gets back into it. And well, it looks like Flame had a bit of a argy bargy there with the score, a bit of maybe a telling off there to an extent. Didn't let him get away from his grasp. <laughs> well, Flame wants to regain control of possession, but Yukio has got other ideas as he comes barreling through the air there. Ixo with a very big touch up into the midfield. It's fallen for Archie, drops it down. The midfield battle is starting to heat up. Neither teams have had clear routes through into the danger zone and into the front of net. And neither team looking threatening enough to take a lead. Now Archie playing this one off the wall. Tox, I just try to play this out of defense, but he's had a heavy touch. Yukio to try to clear, but that try denied by Cassio. He's so trying to find a bit of control, but again, a high flick ends up at Archie. He's got a bit of control in the flip reset. Yukio with the save, reading it well. This is from Cassio, and he will roll it home for the 1 0 top blokes since regaining form in game three. Seem to be on a roll. Maybe as well. and. SK Gaiman's first goal this series was very much similar as well. Demo goal scored and well top looks maybe dishing out the medicine that, that they had to swallow that time around and Tox. A heavy touch there to an extent, but wasn't heavy enough to get past the offensive player and Yukio. Just going straight to net here. There's no trust or no options, at least up front there. Second one, not sizzling. Tox will just keep this one in middle. It's just a question of how and using the ceiling to be more precise. And yet again, Archie just leaves the ball and clears it at the right time. So Top Blokes, as you said, has found at their feet since game three. Yeah. Oh, Gaming's 100% record now threatened. And it's Top Blokes who are doing that. The team who have not had the most comfortable of days. They're now leaving it very late in the day to find their form. And then a win here would be very important for them. I do think it would guarantee that they do go through to the playoffs. They would be on a two and two record. And at White Demons, of course, they're sitting there on a zero and three. So their day would be a little bit ruined by Top Blokes taking this series. All hope would be lost for them at the moment. So Yukio wants to find a way through the field. He's looking for Tox here. It's defended by Cassio as Flame wants to get past Ixo. Can Ixo get another touch? But Cassio again pushing it wide. Yukio with the shot. Archie coming across quickly to sweep it away. Now the counter attack from Cassio. Let that ball get a little too far ahead of him. And Tox is again able to get forward. Trying to punish Flame though. It was a little easy for him. And SK Gaming shots not too much cause of concern for Top Blokes just yet and a drop down by Flame will ensure they double their lead and with 1 minute 22 seconds left on the clock SK Gaming will be feeling the nerves unfortunately looking out from ISO's own perspective there I think that might be a bit of miscommunication nerves surely a factor here and Jeopardy as you said game of 5 100% win rate might be dashed and that one by Tox just away perfectly. 70 odd seconds, but more time compared to game four to grab at least one goal. They give themselves an edge to tie things up here. It seems unlikely. It might be unlikely. And over the ball to Tox here. Nice bit of control. Scrappy on the recovery, but still has possession. That's the key matter. Well, to remind you, when SK game played against White Demons, at game five, they were comfortably winning. And White Demons managed to score, I think, three goals in just over a minute's play to tie it all up. So SK Gaming may be trying to replicate what White Demons did to them to be able to perhaps take it into an overtime. But with 30 seconds left, that dream could very well be dying out. That light at the end of the tunnel getting ever so dim. Tox plays this one a little too wide. And Cassio... Happy to keep it close. That's come awkwardly into the middle. Flame has reacted well. Ixa was breathing down his neck, and that would have been a chance to get a 2-1 and bring it a little closer. Now with 10 seconds on the clock, it's incredibly unlikely that SKM will salvage something from this. Looking for Yukio. Can he get something on it? Off the crossbar Archie there as well. And an important save to ensure they do take 
game five. That ball will drop down and top blokes have gotten themselves a reverse sweep when honestly I thought all odds were against them. I was just shocked to see that as well too when a five game thriller as mentioned earlier in the series. 3-0, 2-0, SK game and we used the word domination. It was in and yet 